Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. How have you all been since my last video? I feel like I'm going to be uploading on Tuesdays now because it's just a little bit more easier for me and I feel like you guys are more engaging on a Tuesday. So that's that. But today I have got a really cool video for you guys. Well, I think it's a really cool video. I was recently just browsing the internet as you do and I came across Ego Official. And now I do know Ego Official from a while back. Um, I've been gifted a few of their products through like a PR company, but I've never actually sat on their website. And the this was the first time I was actually on their website and I was like, oh wow, they dupe the hell out of designer shoes. Like, oh my God, it's ridiculous. And then I realized I actually had a pair of boots from them, which were the exact copy of an Alexander Wang pair of boots. And I didn't even realize, so that's the tea on that it's really affordable high street trends and i mean they take the designer trend and they completely copy it no offense like i don't want anyone to get offended or anything by this but it is just what they do and i thought i would do a review and show you guys how they are compared to the original i mean i don't own the original of all of them i will insert pictures here or here whichever one is better and I will show you the price and everything comparing them. And obviously, this is a disclaimer, the quality, the thought, the design is nothing compared to the designer version. This is definitely, if you are looking to buy into a trend or something and you're not sure if you're gonna wear it, get the dupe, see how much wear you're getting out of it and then go and buy the designer one. Or if you really just cannot afford designer and you want that designer look, these are great dupes, don't get me wrong. And I mean, my Alexander Wang dupe boots that I've got, I've worn for two seasons now. They're not leather or anything, but they do the job, I guess. So here we go. I've got a range of different shoes and I'm so excited to show you guys them. I've got my laptop open with all the prices and everything there as well, so should be good. So the first pair are these. Now, do you recognize them? You must do. They were all over the internet this summer and beginning of autumn, especially during fashion week, they were like everywhere. Maybe not in this color, but I have got the other color as well. They are the new Bottega Veneta mules, quilted leather mules. Obviously these are not leather. So I've got my laptop here now. Let's have a look. These ones to buy from Netta Portos, which is where I found them, is 565 pounds. Honestly, look at the comparison of them. They are basically the exact same thing, even the way the heel swoops in like that, like for like, honestly. It's it's actually ridiculous how similar they are. The Bottega Veneta quilted leather ones are 565 pounds. And these ones, which are called Tropez, square toe quilted heel mule in black, faux leather is $32.99 but they have currently got the Black Friday sale discount which has started early so it's $24.99. That's a huge difference between price. They look like they are quite comfortable to be honest. They've got a lot of cushioning here and at the front as well and yeah it's even got that puffy quilt look in terms of likeness and look it is pretty much the same thing. Let's go to the next pair, which is the same pair of shoes, but in the white. And yes, these are the ones that you've probably seen all over Instagram. The price of the Bottega Veneta ones are 565 pounds. I don't know if I could find it in white. I believe they are all sold out. Same thing, the heel shape is, it's insane to be honest how accurately similar they are. The wide toe angle, the square toe, everything is just insane and on the website again 32.99 gone down to 24.99 in the black friday sale so make sure you guys pop on over i've got everything linked down below for you guys so pop on over and have a look because i know everything's going to go super super quickly during the black friday sales because such bargains and i will let you guys know how the sizes fit as well once you guys see what they look like on i'm just amazed at actually how good a dupe they are it's actually insane oh wow <laughs> okay these are actually the ones that inspired this video to show you guys here we go now do you recognize these they 
are insane. This is like way too rubbery. I came across this dupe of the Moonlight Patent Leather Prada booties. And yeah, they are ridiculously similar. Obviously, quality aside, they are completely different. Completely different. Like even, they are so light. Oh, they've actually got like a warm lining inside which is insane so your feet won't be getting cold in them Prada ones obviously say Prada here and um, they've even got the chunky sole the patent leather the little stretch detailing here of the Chelsea boot everything is like for like but the Prada ones are £685 and these ones are £39.99 on sale to £27.99 so I mean that's a huge huge price difference and they are a very eclectic pair of boots so if you are not sure of spending all that money on Prada ones definitely hit these up first see if you're going to wear them see if you enjoy the way that they look and if they fit in your wardrobe and then make that purchase because that's a lot of monies for a funky, funky, funky pair of boots. I mean, I love the boots. I think they're gorgeous. I'm a UK size 7, so I'm not sure if they will look good on me because they might just look way too chunky and just be like, I've got clown feet or something. So I wanted to try these on before I make the plunge and see what they look like. Yeah, it's insane. The price difference is insane. The way they look exactly the same is just intense. Like I said, the only difference is it doesn't say Prada here, but I mean there we go pretty much everything else is the same i came across this designer on instagram and i was like oh they have very very cool shoes just not my style and i can't find the exact ones with this heel the designer version and it's these babies now those who are in the know as soon as they see this heel they know what you're talking about they just know so the brand is called amina maudi i i really hope i'm saying that correctly and her shoes are absolutely stunning guys honestly if you haven't seen them check them out i will link i will link all the designer and the dupe versions down below for you guys they are so gorgeous uh their version has got a slim heel it doesn't come out like that as this one does they are cute aren't they and i'm assured that this detailing all look gorgeous on it's got a clear bit and then all the diamantes are stuck on top of that i mean the quality you can just see already is not great diamantes are slipping off already really cool pair of shoes and the designer version are 610 pounds and this one is 32.99 on discount for 24.99 again the price difference I just can't get over it. It's insane how similar, yet yeah, in, in terms of quality and materials and price, so different. To be honest, I'm not even sure how they get away with doing this. I'm just putting this out there, disclaimer. I know a lot of the high street, especially places like Zara and obviously Ego and all of these like Boohoo, Fashion Nova places do copy designer items. And I also do know that a lot of other designers kind of get inspired from each other and I know that's how fashion works so don't come for me at this video this is just a fun video showing you guys that there are so many cheaper alternatives to spending all of that money on designer and I know there's a lot of people out there who will never buy a dupe because they want to give the designer that that credit and give them the money and obviously I completely agree with that if it's your idea you deserve to get paid for it but unfortunately, not everyone can afford to spend 600 plus pounds or euros, whatever, on a pair of shoes. So this is more affordable for them. So I just thought it would be a really fun comparison video. So please do not come for me. <laughs> so there we go. I really like these. Oh dear, guys, these ones. In same i couldn't believe it when i saw this i really could not believe it these these ones these babies do you recognize them yes you do they are also from bottega veneta from this summer and all over instagram the only thing is this bit is not as delicate as the bottega veneta version but everything else i can say is like like for like it's insane again it's got the square toe the mesh detailing now and the gold chain around the foot you can adjust it as well like the Bottega version wow that's crazy that is crazy <laughs> so the Bottega version is 715 pounds and this version is 
$34.99 and $24.99 on the discount. I'm honestly, I'm like gobsmacked. I don't know how they get away with this. Honestly, there's like little things like quality control and stuff and that doesn't match up obviously to a pair of Bottega Veneta, like the way that the sole lining comes out slightly, like finishing touches, you've got glue, the lack of paint on the sole and all of that stuff. But I mean, for that price, what do you really expect? Oh my God, I'm upset, honestly. So the next pair are these babies. They are so cute, I really like them. Now, if you're not a fan of square toe heels, you're definitely not gonna like any of these shoes that I've shown you recently, especially the Bottega Veneta ones because they are very square. That was the style this season that everyone was, or last season that everyone was rocking and I'm sure they will be coming back out from everyone's wardrobe in the springtime again when you can bear to take your feet out of a boot. These are like a chocolate brown color, which is gorgeous. And they are the Stretch Mules in Kid Leather, 590 pounds from Bottega Veneta. The Ego version are 32.99 and 24.99 on sale. So yeah, if you want to save your money, guys, these are the dupes for you because it's insane how similar that, like I keep saying this, but believe me, looking at them like for like, and I've seen them all in real life. It's ridiculously similar. Like I'm really good at telling a designer and a fake pair. Like I can really tell the difference. It's one of my proudest moments. I went to this evening where we had to choose, it was like a designer reseller and they had like brand new designer items and brand new fake designer items. And I could instantly tell which was which. And because I'm obviously like Turkish Cypriot and in Turkey and in Cyprus, they have so many fake designers. Just like as you're going through like the shops and stuff, you can see them. I have a really good eye for it. So I can really tell if something looks off or not. Cause I've, I like being around designer stuff. I'm always in Selfridges and Harrods looking at new designer stuff or looking at it online. I have an eye for it so I can tell. And honestly, the only things that are different with these are just the quality. See what I mean? Like just the quality of like glue coming off of. I've seen so many fake designer shoes and bags and stuff and I'm like, oh, that's off, that's off, that's wonky. That shape isn't right. But with these, everything about the design is pretty much like 99% accurate. It's just the finishing touches of it all. So like the materials, the quality control. If you don't really care about that, then I don't see why not. So again, it's got all of the cushioning and everything. And yeah, they look like they're gonna be really, really comfortable. Lastly, my last pair of shoes. Look at them, they're so pretty. They are really, really pretty. These are again, Amina Maudi. I've seen loads of her versions of these, which is obviously the original version. So hers are called the Begum Embellished Detail Mules and they are 675 pounds. And the Ego version are 34.99 on discount for 24.99. It is just madness, absolute madness. I cannot believe it. These ones are cushioned at the front yeah cushioned at the back as well again it's just quality control look at that it doesn't look very very nice but for a pair of shoes that are like going to cost you 35 pounds what do you really expect i know a lot of people are going to be like oh that's a decent amount of money for a pair of shoes but really not not really like an average pair of shoes i think should be about 70 80 pounds and a lot of people are going to come for me for that because that's so expensive for them but I just like good quality items and it doesn't always have to be designer as long as it is good quality and you know real material like real leather materials I think you have to pay a little bit more to get good quality stuff I know when you buy designer items there's not always a lifetime guarantee but there is usually a guarantee if something happens you can take it back and they can either change it because it's faulty or fix it for you or something. So yeah, pretty good dupe to be honest, guys. Now that is everything from this haul. Like I said, this is just a fun video to show you guys that there are so many cheaper alternatives to all of the designer items I've shown you. I'm just in shock at how accurate they are. They either get them done at very, very similar, if not the same 
manufacturers so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's a bit different quite fun i quite enjoyed it i hope you guys have as well if you have obviously do not forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>